what is going on you guys I already biffed her um, it's been a while since I've recorded a video and um, I have been dealing with uh, some stupid sick stuff I, was, I don't know it's annoying I'll talk about it in a different video but this video I have something that uh, happened quite a while ago that uh, I've been dying to make a video about I've actually I've actually recorded this twice once of which um, uh, the recording like went bad and all the audio kind of is like robotic and glitchy and annoying and then the second time there's no audio at all so third time's a charm hopefully it works um I uh I'll just start from the beginning I uh I switched my wheels I saw uh, I switched my wheels over um this day I had my uh this was like right after my um trip to Colorado so I still had my stock wheels on my car. Sorry about switching back and forth between views. I couldn't find the one. I kept pushing the wrong button. But uh, <clears throat> this is right after I got back from Colorado. So I still had my stock wheels on. And um, I uh, I switched. I, I woke up and I was planning on switching those, washing my car, um, doing a few things that day. Um, I had some stuff that I wanted to get done. And uh, I um, I woke up and it was like... It was probably about like two in the afternoon or so. Um, it was late. I slept in late, and then I like laid around. I didn't get anything done. Um, and I was kind of like, well, this was a waste of a day. And then it was probably about 2:33. I was like, you know what? I am gonna go do it. I'm gonna go switch my wheels. So I went down. It was a hot day. Um, probably should have waited until a cooler day. But I uh, went and switched my wheels and spent quite a while doing that. Um, being that I don't have a floor jack, so like I had to go b through with like the BMW jack and jack it up in each corner of the car and switch the um each wheel one at a time which is always irritating um but uh so I get that done and um I go and I take it I take my car out for like a test drive you know because afterwards I was I always like to test drive my car around to make sure everything seems sound uh drive it a bit and then come back and uh, tighten all the lugs make sure everything's looking good um so uh I go out and I start cruising around. I actually run into my um, uh, my one friend that was out driving around too, and like not literally run into, but find him. And uh, he has a few guys in the car. They were uh, cruising around before football practice, so uh, they were following me, and we were out cruising around. And uh, I drive by this sweet-looking white BMW sitting up, uh, sitting down kind of by the boat docks um, in my town. I'm like, oh my gosh! Of course, I stop and I go look at the car. Um, and my friend stops behind me. And uh, we're looking at the car, you know, they're, they're not really, none of them are really into cars, so I'm sort of like admiring it. This is like a, it's like obviously lowered, it has camber, you can tell there's a little bit of camber, it has HRE wheels, which are like really big name brand wheels. It's the BMW 540i, which is the one with the V8, the one that I've always wanted. Um, so I'm sitting here like admiring this car, and uh, the one kid that's in, that was in the car with my friend uh, was looking at my car, he's like, man, your car's so cool, I'd take yours over this one any day, and I was like... No way, man. This thing has a V8 in it. I was like, look at these wheels. You know, I'm kind of like, I'm nerding out over this car. And um, they're like, no way. Yours is way cooler. You know, they're like, look at the blue, like, your sweet blue paint or whatever. You know, like, kind of doing that sort of deal. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Thanks, man. And he's like, can I drive it? And I was like, this guy, this guy's not like, we're not like close friends by any means. Um, he's like, can I drive it? And I was like, no. You know, I was like, kind of like, what kind of question is that? Can you drive my car? He's like, of course not. He's like, oh, and he like goes and wanders around, sits down in it. He's like, please. I was like, fine, you can like drive it. I said, I like pointed to a spot. It was like a few hundred yards down and back. You can drive to there and back. And he was like, really? I'm like, yeah, go for it. And uh, this was really random. I never really let anyone really drive my car. Um, I'm a big baby about it. So I was like, completely spur of the moment. I don't know how that how that happened or why I let him drive it, but I did. Um. So he drives it and he comes back and I'm like looking at this car some more, take a couple pictures on my phone, and then uh, I was like, all right, I'm gonna go get my nice camera and take some pictures of it. So I was like, all right, guys, I'm gonna go get my camera. I was like, all right, yeah, we should keep going football. So uh, they head off and I head home and I uh, run up to my room real quick, grab my camera, um, come back down, grab, throw in my car, hop in my car, and uh, I go rip, ripping back down to the boat docks. Um, it's only like a couple miles away from my house, so like you know, it wasn't far by any means, and. Uh, get back to where the car was and it's not there like of course this is just my luck you know I'm like instantly mad I'm like this sucks dude 
alright, whatever. So I keep following that road and keep cruising. And then uh, right around the bend, it's parked over in the grass. And I'm like, oh my god, nice, nice, nice. So I slow down <coughs> and like, um, sitting up on top of the rocks, um, there's a guy. It's kind of like parked beside like this big rock barrier thing in case the river floods. And uh, up on top of that, there's benches and there's an older guy up there. And um, so I climb up the rocks. Um, there's like a pathway a little ways away, but I just climbed up the rocks for uh, time's sake. Um, climb up the rocks and I get up there and I goes, is that your car, sir? He goes, yep. I was like, do you mind if I uh, take some photos of it? He goes, oh, hell no. And he's like, oh, hell no. Treat it like it's yours. And I was like, all right, cool. And I was like, thank you. And he's like, you can drive it too. And I kind of laughed and I was like, it's like, yeah, all right. And you know, like, all right. Um, that's just like a joke. I thought that he's just sort of kidding. So I go down and I start taking pictures of it. You know, I'm taking pictures of the ins or the outside of it and like through the windows. You know, obviously not touching it at all. It's just like common respect. Um, although he did tell me to treat it like it was mine. He like, you know, he was cool about it. And uh, he's sitting up there and he goes, you have a BMW, you know how to pop the hood. I was like, okay. And I was kind of like, all right, yeah, I know. It has a V8 in it. I was like, I'm going to rub it in, dude. <laughs> so I kind of like, all right, cool, thanks. And I like pop the hood and there's a blower. Uh, there's a supercharger strapped to the engine, if you don't know, blower. Um, they have all superchargers strapped on. I was like, oh my god, it has like a Denon sway bar on it. And um, for you guys that don't know, a supercharger is, um, it's, uh, it, it, gives the horse, it gives the car more horsepower, sway bars, uh, suspension. It's like a beam that goes across uh, from your suspensions. Like, uh, I don't really know how to describe it, I guess. It goes across your engine bay, and it uh, stiffens up the suspension and makes it better for track use. Um, so I'm always like, oh my god, this is, all of a sudden this car's got a lot more interesting than what I thought it was. So, um, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm like sitting here taking pictures of it, and I was like blown away. He's like, alright, go ahead and shut the hood. Alright, and I shut the hood. He said, I got one big favor to ask of you, and I was like, what was that? And he goes... Would you mind driving it down to the island and bringing it back for me? I like, smiled and I was like, I want to try that three, four mile, you know, it's, it's a few miles. It, it's it's a little bit of a drive, enough to be able to have fun with the car and experience it. It's like, are you sure? He's like, oh yeah, make sure and have your foot to the floor a few times too. And I'm just like smiling, you know, I'm like, I can't believe this is happening. I'm like, all right, will do. And, you know, he's not riding along, he's just go ahead and take her he's like keys are in it and I was like okay and I like go get in it I'm like shaking you know I'm so nervous this is what I was thinking at the time I was kind of like adding things up in the head and I was like alright a few thousand for the supercharger I was like a few thousand for the wheels like a couple thousand of suspension you know I'm kind of like piecing everything together trying to like add enough like dude this guy has like at least 10 grand worth of mods I was thinking like he's near 10 grand into this I was like oh my god thinking like wow this guy like has my whole car worth of mods on his car. I'm thinking, this guy's, this is a serious car he's let me drive. Alright, start it up, and I go over the road, track super duper slow and cautious, like always. And, um, I, uh, get to the straightaway, and oh yeah, one thing he did throw in too before I left, he was like, make sure, and, uh, or when he said, put the, put the bell to the floor a few times, he's like, make sure and you have the wheel straight, though. I was like, oh, so that means I'm gonna drive this sideways. <laughs> You know, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm like, oh, yeah, I will. Like, ah, uh, I know what's going to happen now. So I uh, go over the road tracks real slow um, and get to the straightaway and put it to the floor, and that just throws me in my seat. And I had it to the floor. I had I gassed it um, for as long as it would take for my car to get 0 to 60, and it was well over 60. Um, it is... It blew me away. I looked down. And I was like, "Oh my God, that would that would be a problem." You know, I was kind of like, "Holy cow, this is fast!" Um, and it just got like it got zero to sixty literally in like seconds. It was just ridiculously fast. If it if I put the pull, uh, pedal to the floor, it broke traction, um, and it was more than fun. That was absolutely awesome. So I cruised the car down, and uh, you know, I'm going by the, like biggest smile on my face, like this little white kid showing in this sweet ass BMW chilling huge smile on my face like this obviously is not my car going by people like waving you know people have to be laughing when they see me go by big old smile on my face cheesing and I'm going by car car and uh, get down to the island and I turn off and then like you go down like a little road thing and you can turn around went down a little road and I did not turn around very subtle you know that
Um, <laughs> it was a uh, it was an obnoxious turnaround. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call it a legal U-turn, <laughs> but so I rip around and I come flying back and give it a few more pulls and come ripping by and I'm this this seriously is the most fun like to this day I've ever had that in the longest time. This absolutely awesome. Seriously driving a dream car of mine. Like everything I've ever wanted in the car. Like I've always wanted that exact car. And then to throw a supercharger on it, put a pair of my favorite or set of my favorite wheels on it, put some camber plates on it, put some coilovers on it. You know, I'm like this is seriously my dream car and this dude just let me drive it. Um so I get back, you know, I park it and I come back up and I come up to the die and I like, you know, I thank him and uh, explain like how much it meant to me and how awesome the experience was and everything. I was like, so, I was like, so, uh, how would I ask? I asked something along the lines of like, so are you satisfied with the power or something like that? And he goes, yeah, it wasn't, it's still not quite as fun as my M6 was though. And I was kind of like, what? I was like, huh, M6, you've had an M6? I was like, Oh, you've had an M6? And he's like, yep. Oh, yeah. And I was like, so, have you had many other BMWs? And he goes, kind of laughed. And he's like, I guess you could say that. And he goes, ah, I've had an M5. I've had an M3. I've had a 335i. I've had a 540. And I've had a M6. And I was just like, oh, my God. This guy literally went and bought all the fastest BMWs you could buy. Like, that's, like, what he did. Like, well, to an extent. And, um... It's like, oh my god, like, I'm sitting here thinking, like, this dude is rich. So I'm, like, kind of talking more, and I'm, like, talking. He's saying how the M6 was the most fun car he's had, or the most fun BMW, but it was, like, about $600 for one oil change. Just ridiculous. He said it was just irritated him. It was so much. And, um, so, uh, I started asking him some more questions, you know. And sorry I'm kind of, like, running out of breath here. My whole hospital deal's kind of killing me. Um, not literally, but, uh, I, um, start talking to him some more, and I start talking about the 540, the car I drove, and, um, I, I kind of, like, I'm looking, and he says something about the wheels, and I was like, so, if you don't mind me asking, do you mind if I ask how much those wheels were? And he was, he kind of laughs, he's like, I went a little overboard on the wheels, and he's like, uh, the wheels were 6,000, I was like, oh, oh my god, I was like, you could almost buy my car with his wheels, like, that's literally what they added up to. I was like, holy cow, you know. I'm like, I was expecting it to be about 3,000. That was like my limit. I was like, three grand for sure this dude spent on wheels. I was like, oh my god. He's like, yeah, that was a pretty good chunk in the 37,000 I have into it. And I was like, oh my god. So I was like, that. from there I went from thinking that he spent like 10 grand of mods. I was thinking that he spent like 15, thinking that he spent like, say, 20 on the car. And then uh, he goes, yeah. I was like, so you spent, you spent like, a little over 10,000 or like a little under 20,000 on mods? He goes, no, I spent 37 just on the mods. And I was like, what? He's like, yep, bought the car and um, within the first week of having it, he sent it to California and sent it down to Denon. And if you don't know that, um, what that is, is it's, a, it's like a BMW strain of tuning. It's like the most expensive, best tuning you can do for a Beamer um, in a way. So he got it, bought the car with 11,000 miles on it in 2003, and shipped it off and spent whatever, another $37,000 on mods. And I was like, oh my gosh. So now I'm like, okay, yeah, this dude's definitely got some money. So I was like, so have you had many other cars? And he's like, oh yeah. He's like, starts, so I've, I'm more of a German. He's like, I like my BMWs, my Porsches. And I was like, yeah, I can imagine. He's like, um, yeah, I've had the Porsche 911, 911 Turbo, the Carrera, the C4. He lists off a bunch of Porsche, and I'm like, holy crap. And I'm talking to this guy. Just, it turns out I started asking him some more questions, and uh, he was a, uh, he ran a multi-million dollar business. He got it from his parents. He, I asked him what he did, and he said, uh, got a business from my parents. And I was kind of like, oh, okay. You know, like one of these stories. That's not even cool. So when I got it, it was a couple hundred thousand dollar a year company, and now it's a six to eight million dollar um, year company. And I was like, holy cow. He's like, yeah, I made a few small changes. And I was like, yeah, thanks. So I kind of like talked to him a little more, thank him like a million more times, and carry on my way. And it all comes back to the fact that I'm pretty sure it was all because I let that one kid drive my car. I made his day with it, and it came right back around to me, and the favor was replenished to me. 
And that's just how things work. That's like the, the moral of the story is karma is real. Um, treat people nicely. Do things for other people for just to do. Don't do them so then later you can ask them to do something for you. Or don't do them. Don't ask them to be paid for doing some simple job. Stuff like that. Help people out and it comes back around in the end. And it really does come in your favor. Trust me. Um, I'm a really big believer in it. Believer in it. You know, you give positive vibes, and they come back around your way. So that's the moral of the story, you guys. I, I'm i more than happy with how it turned out. It's literally a dream come true for me. And um, on the side note, I'm about to 1,500 subs. And originally the goal was is to fit, hit 1,500 subs by the end of summer, and it looks like we are going to do it, no doubt. So now I'm up in the goal. As always, you always have to push yourself. So I'm hoping, can we get 1,600 subs? And I think the best way for that would happen is for more likes on a video. So if you're still watching, like this video. And um, if uh, we can hit, let's say, oh, what would be a good number of subs? Or likes, sorry, excuse me. Um, let's say if we can hit 69 likes, I'll do a giveaway on Facebook. So you guys, go ahead and like this video if you haven't already. Make sure and comment, let me know whatever you're thinking. Thank you for watching. As always, my lungs are starting to hurt from talking so much. Um, I'll make another video explaining the whole scenario with that. Um, I already have part of it up. Um, it's like called In the Hospital or something like that. It's uh, my, one of my most recent New Mexico game videos compared to this one. This is videos old now than not one of my most recent. But anyways, you guys, I'm done rambling. As always, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure and leave that like if you want some stickers. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.